Hey everyone, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. If you've been following the channel, you would have seen that I've teamed up with Starbucks this week and earlier in the week bought you this amazing deconstructed tiramisu recipe, which was the perfect partner to your cup of coffee. Today I'm showing you how to personalize your everyday cup of coffee for those days when you want a little something sweet without all the trouble of having to make dessert. I'm gonna show you how to make personalized flavored coffee spoons that you can keep on hand and use to really sweeten up that morning cup of coffee in the flavors that you enjoy best without having to sacrifice on taste or quality. The flavors that we're gonna be making as part of today's video, and there are a ton. I've got dark chocolate raspberry, there's cinnamon, there's gonna be choc mint, French vanilla, there's mocha choca, and there's gonna be salty caramel. So. If I haven't got one of your favorites in there, I'm sorry, but these are pretty much all of my favorites. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by brewing my coffee because I use the French press method, which needs a little bit of time to infuse. So I've picked the Pike Place Roast. It's a really nice medium bodied coffee. It's one that I can kind of drink at any time of the day. And I always like to grind my own beans. So I buy the whole beans and then I grind them fresh because in my opinion, fresh ground coffee just tastes that little bit better. I'm gonna make this up according to the package directions, maybe a little stronger. And then I'm gonna sit it off to the side so it can infuse for about 10 minutes or so while I get started on all of my spoons. You're definitely gonna need chocolate, either dark or white or both if you're making a variety, but because we have so many ingredients, I'm gonna leave down below what ingredients you need for each different flavored spoon. That way if you only wanna make French vanilla, you only need to pick up those ingredients. Or if you only wanna make cinnamon sugar, again, you don't need to go and buy everything you see here. First up, we're gonna melt both of our chocolates. So I'm just gonna pop them in the microwave on 30 second intervals, stirring in between. You can also use a double boiler if you don't have a microwave at home. Our first flavor today, the classic French vanilla. If I was gonna make one that I was gonna have every morning, it would be French vanilla. So I'm gonna take a little spoon of the white chocolate and I'm really just keeping it sort of inside the realms of my little spoons. And then I've got some really good quality vanilla bean paste. You can scrape out your own vanilla beans if you want, but this vanilla bean paste is essentially the same thing and it tastes amazing, it's super high quality and it saves you a couple of steps along the way. So I'm just gonna take some of my vanilla bean paste and this packs a pretty hefty punch, but I generally like a lot of vanilla in my coffees. So I'm just making kind of like a little swirl. I wanna distribute it through all of that white chocolate so that as the chocolate melts, I gradually get a little bit more and a little bit more of that vanilla. That one needs to completely set. So you can pop it in the fridge if you like, or you can do these in bulk, but let that completely set before you dip. So for this one, I also found these little tiny sugar flowers, and they're essentially like a little lump of sugar that dissolves in your coffee, but they look so adorable. So I'm gonna use those to decorate. I'm gonna take my spoon now and I'm gonna dunk it into my white chocolate, coating it completely, let any excess kind of drip away. And because I don't wanna miss out on the handle or on any possible extra white chocolate, I'm just gonna just drizzle a little bit just along, kind of dressing that handle a little bit. Before this has a chance to set, I'm going back into my vanilla because you can't have too much vanilla in French vanilla. And I'm gonna create almost like a little bouquet stem out of vanilla. I feel like I'm doing latte art. I'm a true barista. And then on goes a couple of my little flowers. And that is French vanilla. One of my favorites, and like I said, if, if I was gonna have an everyday, this would be it. For my next flavor, which is salted caramel, I've picked my favorite type of caramel chew, the Jersey caramel. I'm not gonna use a caramel syrup here because that's not gonna stay on the spoon and it's not gonna be able to sort of hold its shape. Microwave them for 10 seconds, no longer, just to soften them. And then you're literally just going to press them onto the spoon using a little bit of white chocolate to a fix. Now, because I wanna add salt to this, I will mention here, do not use table salt. You need to use sea salt. I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt because it's my favorite. And if you can get the little flakes, they're a little bit cuter than just the regular ground stuff. So I'm just gonna get my spoon and I'm just going to just run it along and make kind of a few little stripes. And then a not too generous sprinkling of the sea salt. We just want the bare hint. That's your salted caramel coffee spoon ready to go. These ones are my favorite. These are a sometimes spoon, but they're so cute. Cinnamon sugar, among one of my favorite flavors, but they're topped with teeny tiny little donuts, which makes them utterly adorable. So I've got about a third of a cup of my white chocolate, and you'll notice I did my two white ones first, and now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon sugar into my chocolate. I'm also gonna add in just a tiny little bit 
I'm gonna use a toothpick, I'm gonna use such a small amount. A tiny little bit of my dark chocolate and that is just gonna help with the color to give us kind of a more donutty looking color when we make our little donuts. And stir that all around. Mm. Cinnamon, sugar and white chocolate, does it get any better? This one here, I'm just gonna take again, a little spoonful of my cinnamon sugar white chocolate. And then being prepared to make a decent amount of mess, I'm gonna coat that in more cinnamon sugar. That one needs to completely set and we'll get on to making our little donuts. For your donuts, I'm gonna use a snap seal bag and just pop a little bit of our cinnamon sugar chocolate in there. Snip off a tiny little tip and then we're gonna pipe just some little rings. Depending on how quick you pipe, you might need to do this at the halfway mark, but I'm just gonna sprinkle yet more cinnamon sugar on top of all of those little donuts before that chocolate dries. And then we're gonna let those set, either at room temperature or in the fridge. Once your little donuts are set, you can peel them off the backing paper, and then I'm just gonna use a little spoon or a knife or whatever you like, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this pink frosting. Stick it all over because it's kind of hard to define the edges of the donut, and straight away, add your sprinkles, or you can dip it straight down in the sprinkles. Because we've gone over the whole top, you'll need to redefine your little donut hole by just pressing your toothpick through the center. One tiny donut sprinkle ready to go, and it's adorable. So our donut sprinkles are done, and we need to make this guy a little bit prettier, because it's kind of a little bit same, same at the moment. So I'm gonna take my cinnamon white chocolate, and again, I'm just gonna swirl from side to side, which is also gonna give our donuts something to stick to. Again, coming right up the handle, and then I'm gonna grab one little donut and another little donut, just kind of like hanging out, sort of resting on top. Then we'll clean it up again, just using a toothpick around that bottom edge. Donut fans, eat your heart out. If somebody gave this to me when I arrived at their house with a cup of coffee, I would die. This is the cutest, I think the cutest spoon by far. Off over to the side to set. Next up, dark chocolate raspberry. A fantastic combination and goes perfectly with coffee. So again, we're gonna start with a nice little generous dollop of the dark chocolate this time. And make sure you're using good quality dark chocolate here because it really will have an impact in the flavor of your coffee. You're already using great coffee. You wanna be using the best ingredients to personalize it. I'm using freeze dried raspberries because they pack a really powerful flavor punch. We're gonna let that one set and then we'll decorate. Again, with the drizzle decoration here because I wanna be able to see some of that red poking through but under some of the delicious dark chocolate. And then to finish off, just a little more of my raspberry. So I've got a little underneath and a little on top and a little bit sort of poking through those beautiful dark chocolate stripes. And again, just cleaning up my edges and sides using that toothpick. So we know French vanilla is my go-to in the vanilla family for flavored coffees, but choc mint has to be my kind of decadent, indulgent, I'm gonna say my nighttime coffee treat. It's one of my favorite flavor combos. So a little bit of dark chocolate, or a lot of dark chocolate. Again, just dolloped into the center of our spoon, even it off, and we're gonna let that completely set. Now, while that one's setting, I've taken a little piece of parchment and cut it to like, I guess, a larger sized version of the top of my spoon. You wanna cut a pattern. I'm gonna do little leaves, because mint and leaves and mint leaves. Any pattern you like. You could do an initial here, you could do a little love heart. So this is what my little pattern looks like and that's all ready for when I wanna decorate. I'm using green sprinkles or you could use a green sanding sugar but I thought green for mint and I've got a really good quality peppermint oil or you could use a peppermint extract. That's gonna complement my coffee beautifully. Now this guy gets a little bit tricky so I'm gonna use my toothpick and I'm gonna bore out a little center hole. This is gonna be where we're gonna put our peppermint essence and the hardest part is getting the peppermint essence in there. I'm gonna use my tiny spoon again and I'm just gonna fill that little hole so it's really not very big at all because you don't need a lot when it comes to peppermint to make a really big impact. Four little drops of peppermint in there and then I'm gonna seal it up with a little bit more chocolate, just blobbed on top. Let that one set and then we'll dip. Coming back, get your little template ready and then you're gonna take this spoon and dip it completely in. And then while that chocolate's still wet, you're gonna take your little template and place it on the chocolate, kind of letting that parchment paper stick to your spoon. And then sprinkle on your green sprinkles and let that entire spoon completely set before removing the template. Otherwise your chocolate's gonna turn into a mess. But if you let that set, your chocolate will be nice and neat and you'll have these beautiful little leaf shapes already imprinted on there. Peeling away our parchment for the big reveal, just carefully. And look at that, three little green mint leaves on our delicious peppermint infused coffee spoon. 
Our final flavour of the day is rich mocha. This is for when you want to take your coffee a little bit more on the chocolate side of things, which, let's face it, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to take, again, dark chocolate and I'm going to place a nice, generous dollop onto my spoon and we're going to let that set. Once you're happy that your little chocolate, I guess your little mound has set, dip in and again come up the side. Let any excess drip off. Not too much excess. We want this one chocolatey. And then I'm going to be kind of targeted about the way that I kind of stick these on. I want it to look a little bit like the chocolate chip cookie and then it's, I mean, it's not just a big massive mess. I love this one because it gives you the combination of dark chocolate and milk chocolate. And that is your little chocker mocha spoon. A great combination of darker milk chocolates to really complement your freshly brewed coffee. Those are your six different amazingly flavoured coffee spoons. And now that my coffee's brewed, I am going to plunge and I think that I've earned a bit of a relax. My coffee's brewed and all the hard work's done, so let's see these babies in action. In goes the coffee. I'm in kind of a mocha type mood. And stir. As that chocolate infuses into that delicious Starbucks coffee, what you're going to end up with is not just any mocha. This is a homemade mocha that's used the finest ingredients and you can enjoy this in the comfort of your own home. I always like to keep an eye on my spoon because there's this certain point about now when most of it's in the coffee, but there's still a little bit left on there for me. It's kind of my treat. This is just one of many ways that you can personalize your favorite Starbucks blend. If you want to head to starbucks.com forward slash at home, you can check out a ton of other really cool ideas for ways that you can personalize and pair with your favorite coffee blends.